Hey everyone, welcome along to this video. Right, this video pretty much is about the tire pressures. Thought I'd do this video off the, the, the back of a Friday night um, five race championship where I sort of noticed maybe I might have the wrong tire pressures or running the wrong tire pressures. So I thought I'd do a comparison. Now, in the video, we are going to compare three um, tire pressures. I was only going to do the two, obviously what I run and then I was gonna try something different, but I managed to sort of squeeze in a third um, ju just to see the variation really. So yeah, pretty much three lots of tire pressures. Brands Hatch is the circuit that I did the, the, um, the testing on. Um, I've obviously got lap times for, it was around about 11 or 12 laps. Um, I think I had 25 liters of fuel each time. Same setup, uh, same everything, same track temp, the lot. The only difference was the tire pressures. So, as I said, we've got everything, the the, the, the tire wear as well, because obviously I know some of you guys would be interested in that. So, yeah, um, let's get into it. Okay, so pressures we tested were 26.2, 26.8, which is the pressures that I pretty much run, um, qualifying and race scenarios, and 27.4. Now, some of you are probably asked him why we didn't run 27.5. I believe 27.5 is the cutoff with these pressures, um, with the new the new sort of tire model, the tire pressures with a 1.9. Now, the problem is you can never run round a lap uh, on pretty much any track um, the same pressures for all four tires. So the problem is with that, with the variation, you run the risk of possibly going over the 27.5, so yeah, 27.6, 27.7, which again, like I said, I believe the cutoff is 27.5. I think after that, you're you're not gaining anything. I do believe you, you are overinflating the tyres. So yeah, that's why we ran 27.4. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to chat a little bit about what I felt um, with the tyres. At the end, I will put up the lap times for each tire and the tire wear um, for people to obviously have a look i mean you can pause the video um, and go into sort of more detail on them um, like i said i'm not gonna not gonna sort of throw them up and go through them and everything else we all know what the uh, what, what the uh, tire wear um, represents um, we also know obviously lap times and stuff so i'm sort of going to touch on a little bit of that now in, in a hole for each tire um so yeah 26.2 nah. now obviously this is the the lowest um and you could feel it straight away the car was sliding around a lot more not, not massively um it, but you could just feel it obviously doing doing the 10 laps or, or 11 laps or what it, whatever it was for the three sets i've got a good gauge now um and yeah, the 26.2 was a lot more slippery um, or, or the car was moving around a lot more. Uh, braking zones wise, I didn't find there was a lot of difference um, to sort of make it relevant. Uh, obviously, Brands Hatch isn't a, a sort of very sort of hard um, from a sort of high top speed braking zone, maybe into the first corner. Um, but yeah, I didn't really notice a, a massive difference towards braking efficiency uh to to do with lack of grip or more grip but yeah the car overall like i said just slid around a lot more obviously when i do bring up the um lap times you will see i couldn't get near the other two um you're not looking seconds um i think off the top of my head it was a couple of temps but as you'll also see I did invalidate a, a good few more laps than what I did for the others because the car was sliding. Obviously, I'm, I'm pushing the car. I'm on the edge. Um, so obviously, you, you're going to, with a car that's not sort of under you as such or not as stable, um, you're obviously going to yeah, invalidate a, a, a few more laps. So yeah, in its entirety, I would scrap the 26.2. I would not run the, the 26.2 at all, which is very... Um, interesting, um, if not shocked by it, because on the PC, the lower the tire pressures for quali or quali runs, short runs is better. 
um, than obviously running the higher tire pressures. Um, and obviously I found out this and everyone else found out this when, when the 1.9 was first implemented on PC. So this, this has shocked me. This has shocked me. The Xbox, um, obviously I, I can't speak for PS5, but console in general, the way the tires are to get the maximum out of it is different to what PC is. So I wouldn't take PC um, close or any information from PC to do with the tires for Xbox. Okay. 26.8 now these are the pressures pretty much there or thereabouts as i says because you can't sort of run a, a, a static 26.8 for all four tires on, on a lap um of any track to be fair so but yeah these are pretty much my go-to pressures this what i found um sort of in in the uh, the infancy of the 1.9 on console i did go with the way the pc went at first lower pressures 26.1 26.2 didn't work straight away felt it was horrible um so yeah I, I upped the pressures to what i would run in the race on pc and i just stuck with it and they seem to have worked really well for qualifying and the race so as i said i'm well used to these pressures so overall again lap time was quicker than than, than the 26.2 uh by a couple of attempts felt like the car was under me better a lot less sliding um and yeah overall a, a good pressure you could probably get away with these pressures um running now um and running i mean from now onwards to be fair but the, the elephant in the room is i have tried this is why the videos here i have tried the the higher pressure so i'm well i'm, I'm not going to spoil it i'm going to obviously yeah move on to the uh the 27.4 Okay, so 27.4, this is why I've made the video, this is why I have did the testing, and in a nutshell, yeah, it is slightly better than the 26.8, um, so you could probably run, I'd say 27.2, 27.3, a maximum 27.4, um, as I said, I'd say 27.5, you're going to lose grip, it, it's then going to go away, you're probably overinflating the tyre, so, but yeah, what I found was, slightly and i only mean slightly more stable than the 26.8 um lap times were very close but i was slightly quicker i think maybe by just over a tenth um and at, at, at a certain point i was possibly on to go maybe two temps quicker um running the the, the 27.4 it was I mean, around about 27 to 27 3 touching 27 4 on one of the tires but yeah it, it just felt like I could be more consistent. Um, it, it sort of it, it will show when I bring up the the lap times um, for for the, the the amount of laps that I did for each tire. It, it, it will show that there was less dirty laps for starters. There was it, it just felt I could do quicker times more often. Um, it, it, it was I said just just the confidence in the car was was just slightly better than the twenty six point eight. So. As I said, I'm shocked. I, I thought I was in the ballpark. Obviously, with the 1.9, we were all told that the tyre range is from 26 to 27. Now, this is sort of breaking the barrier of that. This is sort of, it, it, for what they've said, overinflating the tyres. But with my testing, and obviously, you've still got to take it with a pinch of salt. My driving style could be different to... to your driving style, it, it, it's, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, go and do your own testing, guys. I, please go and do your own testing and come back and leave a comment on the video. I would love to hear your comments and love to hear your theories, thoughts, um, experiences of, of how it felt with you as well, because that will then put sort of all this together and we can sort of work from that. But as far as, as the pressures go for me, going forward i will be running higher pressures for sure it might not work on every track i don't know it might just be track um well that i use brands but i highly doubt it not with pressures um set up yes but it was all the same setup for all the laps i did for the the, the different tire pressures so as i said i i am shocked i am so but yeah i'll stop waffling on at the end of the video i'll put up um the lap times for 
the individual tire pressures and I will also put up the tire wear as well for people that are interested just to see if it's more beneficial to run the higher tire pressures or the lower tire pressures but yeah I hope you guys have found the video informative because I, I've really enjoyed actually making it I've done probably about 40 or 50 laps around Brands Hatch doing this um, so I've got slightly quick around Brands Hatch uh, but yeah no like I said Leave a comment down below if you, if you enjoyed the video. Please go and do your own testing as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear your 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 feelings on it as well. Um, and uh, yeah, as I always say, um, I'll catch you on the next live stream. Mm -hmm.